Okay, this is the video solution for uh, the assignment six on July 7th. And uh, here's the statement of the problem. We have a mechanism on here. Uh, this can be viewed as a four bar linkage. You might say, wait a minute, there are only three linkages here. But the fourth one can be viewed as the ground from O to C. O to C. Therefore, it is possible to actually make four uh, four linkages, as I did in the uh, in the lecture on uh, July fourth. However, uh, I'm not going to do that. I will actually make only three of them. And uh, there's a few things you have to do. First of all, you have to make this thing uh, uh, make a cartoon out of that. Basically, make it move. And uh, incidentally, this is the Grashof uh, Grashof. Uh, a mechanism, the sum of the smallest uh, link plus the largest link is uh, less than or equal to the sum of the other two. Therefore, there is one link that actually uh, rotates uh, continuously, can rotate continuously, and that will be linked away. Uh, now, once you make a cartoon out of this, basically, you are going to apply some physics into it. In other words, uh, we are assuming that this thing turns at uh, 60 RPM or uh, 360 degrees per second. And then we are asked to plot a few things. Uh, we are asked to plot the trace of uh, D, uh, D point D, which is halfway between A and B. And uh, also the plot of the magnitude of linear acceleration at the point D as a function of time. Now, notice that... Uh, there is no such a thing in the list of things uh, within the uh, speed uh, acceleration sensor. There is no such a thing called linear accel magnitude of linear acceleration. There is x linear acceleration, or y linear acceleration, or z linear ac acceleration, and one which just says we just says linear acceleration, and that means the magnitude. Okay, so even though there is a magnitude here. Don't try to find something in the list which says magnitude of linear acceleration. You have to look at the one which doesn't have any component associated with it, and it says linear acceleration. Okay, good. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to make uh, uh, three three links, uh, 10 inch, 26 inches, and 18 inches. So uh, do that. Uh, insert new part in there and I'm going to call this thing OA properties OA which is 10 inches OA okay let's make that so on a convenient plane on that vertical plane I will sketch um, Two, two, uh, well, a profile like this. Okay, let's make this in ten inches from here to here, ten inches. Okay, and uh, just so that it make it look better, I'm going to make a little circle here and another one there. These are unnecessary, but I'll do it. This is some dimensions. So this thing is going to be 0 0.25. 0 0.25 inches as radius. And this one also 0.25. 0.25. Okay. Exit. And why don't we pad it by, uh, let's say, one inch? Sure. So then we're going to do the other link, which is AB, 26 inches. So uh, insert, new part. Say no. That's going to be AB. Uh, 
and AB here. We'll click. Okay. Uh, let's make it on that vertical plane. I will sketch. All right. So uh, something that's very similar to the other one, except that the length is uh, 26 inches. So this will be 26 inches. Okay, and let's make some small uh, radi uh, radii here, or uh, circles here, 0.25, okay, one on the other side, Okay, exit and pad it by once again one inches. Okay, and we go up here, insert a new part, say no, and this thing is going to be B C. Okay, oh, by the way, before I do that, since we are interested in plotting the trace and getting some information about the point D, uh, we might as well create a point exactly where it's supposed to be. So let's go back to AB. On that face, we sketch. Uh, let's see now, uh, what about doing uh, a point which is exactly 13 inches away from this end? So uh, let's... Uh, yeah, so let's uh, create a point here. Actually, you know what? I could have uh, I could have done the following. Maybe it's easier to do it like this. Uh, let's create a point which is over there, which is exactly half, which is exactly the center, which is where is this? Oh, not there. Uh, where's the point? Right, right up there. A center of a circle. Where is that? Uh, circle of the center over here. Okay. And I want. Uh, well, I can do one on, on this side too. And then I create the point halfway between these two. Do another point, which is exactly between. And there are other ways of doing it, of course. Uh, this point and this point and middle point. So it's going to be right there. So there's my point that I need later on. Okay, good. So let's go back uh, to this part. Let's go to this part. Uh, change the name of it. Actually, let me do it from here. Properties. Uh, that's going to be uh, BC and bc bc okay let's make it double click and that one is 18 inches we are in the part design on that vertical plane i will sketch my profile just like that except that the length of it is 18 inches Okay, why don't I make these circles? Another one on this side. Give it dimensions. Point two five. And on this side is also point two five. Very good. Exit. Oh, this length is 18, right? So that length is 18. All right. Exit. <coughs> Pad it by one 
inch. Now, as far as uh, <coughs> as far as uh, uh, this is concerned, either I can make a link OC of length uh, eight, uh, 18 inches, or I can actually create a kind of some kind of something that, which I can call base, for example, a circle here and a circle there, and then pad it. And the distance between them is eight, 18, uh, 18 inches. So let me let me go that route, okay? So because I did it with the fourth link being created a different way in the in the class on, on July fourth. So let's do it a different way. So insert insert uh, a new part in there, and I call it the uh, pivots. How about that? Right click. Properties, pivot, pivots, how about that? Pivots or the ground, if you want, you can call it grounds, ground, pivots. Okay, let's make it. Double click on a convenient plane, on that vertical plane, or the sketch, uh, two circles. One like that, another one like this. Let me give the uh, inside radius 0 0.5, 0 0.25, okay. All right, and do another one. Point two five and the distance between these two, this point and that point being eighteen. So this is going to be my ground. Okay, good. Exit right there. And why don't we pad this thing by maybe uh, just so that it looks better? But well, 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 let's make it one. That's fine. So this is going to be, be going to be the ground. So single part by the way. You go all the way to the top. Why don't we save our stuff? File. Say management. There's the product. Save as. Desktop. New folder. So uh, this is going to be. Uh, July, uh, what is that, 7? July 7. So everything is going to go there. Good. Now we're in a position to assemble. So why don't we, uh, first of all, uh, anchor uh, the, this part. Okay, so anchor this part. So this is going to be the ground, it's not, it's not going to move. Now I'm going to put this uh, OA on this side. So coincidence between this axis and that axis and coincidence between this plane and that plane, okay. Where you go? Oh, I think I did made the made made a mistake here. So let's do a control Z here. Uh, let's see now. I think by mistake, this this constraint this should have gone coincident with this. So uh, let me see now. This guy, I'm gonna delete. I'm gonna delete that. Which one is this? Oh, this is also wrong. <laughs> Okay, let's try one more time. Coincidence between this axis and that axis, and coincidence between this plane and that plane. And update. Yeah, that's a lot better. 
Now, if you see something that you don't like, see that? I, I don't want it to look like that. Double click on it, flip the arrows, and say OK and update. See, this looks more civilized. Okay. Uh, right. Let me uh, rotate this a little bit. Uh, rotate about that axis. Like this. So that I can see it better. All right. Now let's put this uh, 20 inch, uh, 26 inch, inch link there. So coincidence between this axis. And that axis and coincidence between this plane and that plane say okay and update doesn't look good I don't like it so double click on it flip the arrows or flipping the arrow is the same as actually changing this thing from same up to opposites does the same thing okay update yeah that's more respectable uh, right, so now let's put this guy in there. So coincidence between this axis and that axis and coincidence. Oh, no, no, no. Control that. Coincidence between this plane and that plane. Now update, okay. Uh, again, I don't like the way this thing looks, so click on it, update. That's more respectable. Ooh, yeah. Okay, as a mechanism, this thing works, but I don't like the way, uh, the way this is set up. So uh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm going to delete this and I will move that guy in the direction X, okay, and oh, let's see, yeah, and I make coincidence between this face and that face. Okay, update. All right, now, you know, again, I don't like the way this thing looks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on this, more. Uh, you know, as, 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 as a mechanism, it really doesn't matter. This will work, but it's just that the way it is done, I don't like it. So I want, I want this guy to be mounted on that fellow. Okay. Uh, let me see for a second. What's the best way of achieving that? So these are okay. Okay, let's do this. Let me move this thing away. As a matter of fact, these I'm gonna delete. I'm gonna delete this. I'll do this one first. I'll, I will do, what I will do is, uh, uh, let me see for a second. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Coincidence between this plane, this axis, and that axis. No problem. And I want a coincidence between this plane and that plane, how about that? Say update, except that I want to flip 
Yep, that's more respectable. Not a big coincidence between. this axis and that axis update you see it looks a lot more respectable I could have left it the way it was it's just that uh, uh, it's just that uh, <clears throat> it just didn't look good because when things were going through each other etc but as, as far as the mechanism is concerned that would not have made any difference so I'm gonna go to uh, uh, the move manipulate icon check this box and say rotate about for example this axis but yeah but this axis let's see if it works yeah you see that you see yeah good so we know that this is this is work okay let's go ahead very good Save everything. Once again, I want to emphasize that, please, I spent some extra time here trying to make it look good so that these, these parts don't go through each other. <laughs> you know, as a mechanism, it will not make any difference. But I want to make it look exactly like what I'm presenting to you. So now we're going to go to uh, Digital Mockup, DMU Kinematics. Get the magic wand out, uh, out. Uh, new mechanism, auto create. And I'm gonna have one revolute, two revolute, three revolute, and a cylindrical, probably. Unless I miss something. Yeah. Okay, good. Degree of freedom is one because this is the crank that can turn continuously. And that first one, I believe, was revolute one. Uh, no, no. Which one was it? Between uh, A, B, and O, A, right? No. Uh, cylindrical. Is it this one? Oh, yeah. That's it. Uh, o, A. Okay. So make it angle driven. Make it 0 to 360. Good mechanism can be simulated. You can do a simulation with command. Let's check it out. You can see, up oh, that's the one that turns continuously. And then uh, reset it. It's, it's, it's fine. It works. Okay, good. Uh, now let's create a simulation. No physics, just a cartoon. You drag this thing all the way to the end. Insert, rewind, and play it continuously. Anything but one. To see whether it's working the way it's supposed to or not. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. This is the way it works. For example, if this was a, uh, the wiper blade, that would be the, the thing that rocks. Rewind. Say OK. Uh, incidentally, if you want to hide all these planes, it is possible. The easiest way of doing it is uh, if you go back to, if you go back to assembly design, Okay, and say view, hide, is there a hide here? Uh, let me see, that's it. edit, oh sorry, tools, tools, <laughs> uh, I thought there was a view, hide uh, all planes or something like that, but I don't see it, so let me do it a different way, let me do it a different way for you. So what you can do is uh, uh, here. This is how this is how I'm going to hide and show. Okay, this is the easier way of doing it because I, I can't find the thing that I'm looking for. Search. Type here plane. Okay. In here, the type plane, plane, and search and select. And once it finds it, just hide them there. Okay, good. <laughs> and go back to uh, 
digital markup in kinematics back then. Very good. Now, uh, we did create a simulation here, right there. Now we're going to compile it. Uh, so, uh, anything but one. Uh, okay, so compile. Good. And then you're going to do a re, uh, what is that, trace right there. So, element to trace is that one point. Remember that point that I created? 51, uh, 51 is too much. Let's make it uh, 30. Actually, it looks like we can change that right here. That's okay. Oh, uh, something I must have forgotten to do. Let's let's close this. Don't save it. Try it again. Uh, try it again. So uh, where is that trace? Uh, element to trace out is this point. Yeah, we created the replay. Good. Oh, he was there. <laughs> It was hiding there, so so save this thing file, say management, the trace was here, save as in that folder, save the trace. Oh, let's see now. Let's see. Uh, this is this is the trace. Yeah. Save as. Oh, trace two is fine. That's okay. Let's uh, get rid of this. Can I insert the trace? Insert existing component in there. Uh, trace right there. Good. So if I play, if I do the replay, you see that that point actually goes through this. Okay. So, uh, yeah, try it again. You can see that point in the middle of the link AB traverses that curve. Okay, so let's restop, stop that. And if you don't want the trace, just hide it, but make sure you save it because when it comes to exam we need to see it if, if asked you're asked to generate it so where is that trace right here hide it now let's put some physics into this so we go to f of x click on the mechanism so this is the angle driven joint so we say add a formula uh, 60 rpm by 360 degrees per second so 66360 deg underscore one second or second times time all right and let's do a, go and do a simulation with laws simulation with laws let's do it two seconds a two second period and then play it there is physics here believe me there is physics okay there is physics, that's why it's not that choppy either. Uh, now, uh, we say, uh, let me actually make it, uh, uh, sure, three seconds. How about that? I mean, the, the problem statement says uh, two, but I'm going to make it three here to convince you that actually uh, that choppiness is not there. You see that? Three seconds, it does three. So uh, here, let's put it back to two. On the test, if you're asked to do it for two, do it for two, please. Rewind, play. Good. Okay. So we say okay. Now we want to create sensors. So a ball rolling down a ramp. It says uh, reference product is that uh, is that base. You see that the ground, and the point to get information about is that point. Okay, so notice that it has been created. Then we're gonna to go to simulation with laws, activate sensor. You're asked to plot a magnitude 
of linear acceleration, but there is no magnitude thingy here. But linear acceleration without x, y, and z in front of linear, actually not speed, uh, acceleration, right? Uh, acceleration, linear acceleration without any x, y, z in front of linear acceleration. This is the magnitude. I think we're also find the magnitude of linear acceleration. Yeah, good, good. So now we're going to say, okay, we asked for it, requested that information right there. You can see that. You play it. And then you say graphics. And there we are. So uh, this is information, linear acceleration of that point as a function of time. That's what you're asked to generate. Now make sure you zoom out so that everything is there. Uh, the, the, the scale is here, the units are here, and then you do a print screen here. So you go to the uh, Word document, paste this thing, and paste. There we are. This is what we want to see when it comes to marking your test or your homework. File, save as, browse, desktop, that folder, which I call July 7, and you put down my generated plot. Make sure you give us only the plot that you're asking for. If you're asking you to generate a plot of, uh, for example, uh, linear acceleration versus time, don't give us the X component of it or the Y component. Of it. Don't give us the velocity. This specific plot is what I'm looking for. Okay. Uh, otherwise, we will deduct marks. Um, the reason being that the reason the rationale is that you don't know what is it that you have to do. So you decide to plot everything. So that is not a no no. Okay. So uh, this is all done. Save everything. Let's check our let's check our folder. Make sure that the plot is there. July 7, right there. This is what you upload. If this was a test problem, you give us the product. You give us the links, A, B, B, C, and uh, uh, pivots. Okay, uh, and OA three links and the trace. You give us the trace, and you give us that plot. That is the word file that you generate. And hopefully everything is right. And you get a perfect mark on the final exam for this problem. Good luck.